Hey, you! Yes, 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 you! Allow me to take exactly 42 seconds out of your day just to say this. How many of you hate being embarrassed? One, two, three, four, everybody. Okay, now look at this. According to YouTube statistics, <laughs> this is just humiliating. Now imagine I'm on a date, right? And the girl asks me, what percentage of viewers are actually subscribed? If I tell her that, she's just gonna laugh at me. So yeah, needless to say, I need your help. You just click that big red button below, the one that says subscribe. And really, that's all you gotta do. You don't even have to watch my videos if you press that. You've done more than enough at that point. I mean, it should be illegal to be honest. Like, you can easily support what I do just by pressing subscribe. How cool is that? But hey, it's up to you. I won't hold it against you. Maybe. The bare minimum of what you can do is enjoy the video. Bye. Alright. It would seem we're back in Jukes Jukes Towers of Hell again. This time we're in Ring 2. And here is... Here resides... The easiest hardest tower in the game and I, I, just allow me to explain within jukes towers of hell there is a sort of category of difficulty within this difficulty try right here this this will become important later um and soul crushing difficulty starts right here on the blue and it goes up and up and up and this this difficult the white difficulty which is known as as catastrophic as you can see that that is the there are only two at the time of uploading this there are only two catastrophic towers in the game and they're there you, you got to be really good to beat those what i meant by saying this is the easiest hardest tower is that there are multiple soul crushing towers in the game all of them being different assortment of difficulties there's in ring one there's thanos tower um in ring three there's tower of confusion ring four is tower of inception and so on and so forth but here in ring two there's tower of difficulty chart now it's kind of up to debate at the same time, not really, but most people consider this to be the easiest soul-crushing tower in the game, and there's a good reason for that. The reason it's known as the Tower of Difficulty chart is that when you start the tower, it's really easy, and then the next floor gets harder, and the next floor a little harder, and a little harder, and so on and so forth, and it's supposed to represent the, each of the difficulties on the difficulty chart. That's, that's a no-brainer. I, I shouldn't have to explain this. But that still doesn't mean that it's easy. This is pretty difficult, and if you're able to beat this, consider yourself pretty good. Uh, pretty decent. And as you can see, indicated by the green bar here, that means I've beaten it. But anyway, I'm happy to just shut up and let the footage play. With commentary, of course. Now, obviously, this is post-commentary. I wouldn't be able to do this while talking the whole time. It, it just wouldn't work. Anyway, the first few floors are an absolute cakewalk. You're, you're, you're not going to have any problem here. Um, just some spinning. There's really not much to say. Anyway, starting on medium here, there's this really uh, quick skip you can take. It's pretty easy, too. That just basically skips the entire floor, and now you're on a hard, which is orange. And you got these jumps, which, I mean, uh, they're, they're, they're really not that bad at all, but those, uh, the kill brick spinners are collide, so you gotta be careful on that. Anyway, there's an invisible conveyor here that you can take that skips the other half of the floor, and, like, an invisible ladder, an invisible stud, that you can just take straight up to difficult, where you have to do these tight ropes first, which, if you're attempting this tower, tight ropes shouldn't scare you, and if they do, then obviously you're not ready. Um... And you know, but the, the you can see the difficulties start to ramp up, and it's only the beginning, obviously. So you got a ways to go. And then you got these launch X pushers, whatever they're called, um, that you just kind of got to time properly. It's not that bad. Uh, some wraps, nothing, nothing much else to say, really. Let me get up to floor five, I think, which is challenging. And it, it's uh, but, uh, half of this floor is like kind of transparent or opaque I don't know what the right word is but uh, don't don't let it scare you too much it's not that bad at all uh, those stick out a little bit so just be careful on those and then you got these kill brick jumps but you should be fine as long as you take your time or don't don't take your time do not take your time on those uh, that's a little spinning stud and then here you're up on floor six I believe which is intense black and um, the part of what makes this tower even easier is the fact that there's a safety net on this floor. So if you fall from anywhere above, you'll land, on, uh, you'll be caught by the safety net, and you can just try again. And anyway, here we got our first corner clip of the tower, which is, I think there's only like two. But once you do that, you just go through this part, this part, this part. If you were able to get through the other part, this part shouldn't be so bad. I'm using the word part a lot. 
Um, then here's the second corner clip, which shouldn't be any more harder than the last. Uh, then you got these moving platforms where you gotta jump on the ladders, then there's a half step, it's not that hard. And now, you're on Remorseless, which is pink, or I guess purple. I, I, I don't know, it, it, it looks pink to me, but... Here you have an E-Dance 2 uh, clip, or glitch, where you use E-Dance 2, you look to the side, and you hope, pray to God that you'll actually make it through. And for some reason, this one is just so inconsistent, okay? In any other tower, it's not so bad, but for some reason this one is just like a little thicker. I don't, I don't really know. Once you do make it through, you're presented with like some small conveyor jumps or whatever. I, I, this, it's, um... Uh, then you got like, uh, I think the first ladder flick, not too sure, um, but it's, trust me, it's definitely not going to be the last, because then you got this part where you got a ladder flick on these moving platforms with a solid kill brick spinner that you actually have to jump over. Uh, this may scare you if you're not, you know, <laughs> as good as I am, but, um, and then, you know, I, I fail that jump and pray to God that I won't get flung off by the conveyor, but... I do. Once you don't fail that X pusher jump, you get to down to this area where there's a bunch of conveyors that you have to um, basically just move the opposite way of where they're pointing and you should be fine. That part definitely takes a little bit of practicing, so don't be discouraged. You got a corner clip back in now. now there's three corner clips and that's the last one. And then you got some, you know, slow conveyor jumps, a couple wraps. And here we have a walk around, which it really isn't so bad. Um, Again, again, a lot of these jumps may scare you the first time, but after you do them a couple times, they're not so bad. Then you got some falling platforms, and now you're on Insane, which is where the SC difficulties start. And that's the difficulty that this tower is, but, um... Then you, you got some weird conveyor reps here, which, um... Just do them the way you're comfortable with doing, and that's one other thing I should mention. A lot of this tower is optimization and finding out <coughs> which ways work best for you. If a way, if, if you know, a way that I have to jump works well for me, that doesn't mean it will work the, work the best way for you. So just keep go, keep practicing until you find something that's more consistent than other methods. And once you do that, you have an easy shot at beating the tower. But anyway, here we're going to move on to Extreme which is the next SC difficulty. And you got like some conveyors, some weird wraps. It, it gets a little uh, a little scary coming up here now, but I, I'm not worried, I, I'm never worried. And then you got, you know, some more tricky ladder bits, which I don't find ladder flicking that hard. I don't know who does, but it's not me. Um, and I don't know why it's considered a hard thing to do. Then you got pretty tight wrap here and a really tight jump that I failed once and I'm always careful with ever since. And then you got this weird thing where you have to angle yourself so you're leaning down and can kind of jump off of that. I don't really know what that's called, but it, it's not so hard to do after you know what you gotta do, so I guess that's the game in a nutshell. Anyway, for some reason you jump back to insane, I don't know whose idea that was, but uh, you just got some a little more tricky jumps. And then... After you kind of do that a little carefully, you're on Terrifying, which is the ninth floor, and honestly is way more, in my opinion at least, and I guess other people think this too, floor 9 is way harder than floor 10 here, and you'll see why, it's just, these jumps are pretty tricky, um, and there's not much else to say about it other than... If, if you're gonna be practicing, make sure that you can do floor nine pretty consistently, or else stuff like this will happen. Then you know, don't I, I don't even know how I failed that. I'm gonna be honest with you, but you got this this sort of tight wrap bit, which don't don't mess that up. Um, it's pretty easy to mess up, but you just gotta be careful. And then a heart attack on that conveyor because I thought I was about to get pushed off. You gotta jump, grab that ladder, ladder flick up, ladder flick up, and then you got a lodging, which is when you kind of lodge yourself in there and walk around. And, you know, just, just, just some more anxiety-inducing parts. Just make sure you get the right consistency in this jump, where you don't go too low, but don't go too high either. And you gotta do another one of those weird, uh, grab on. I don't, I don't know what those are called, but they're, they're not so bad. And then, this part, I, I, I almost messed this up terribly. And I, my heart was pounding, because if you're not familiar with trusses or ladders in Roblox, 
all it takes is one wrong jump and you can get flung off of them and it's 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 not exactly ideal in a game where your the main objective is to not fall but regardless I'm able to do these wraps and this was my personal best last time with this conveyor where I missed the jump to that ladder and then that jump I uh, there's really no right or wrong way of doing that ladder thing um, just find out what way works for you best that little thing worked for me but it may not work for you you'll see anyway here you kind of got to edge around a little bit do another ladder flick up not another ladder come on come on there you go another ladder flick up another wrap and then you're on catastrophic now at the time of recording this or at, uh, on that attempt at least this was my first time getting to catastrophic and naturally I was gonna shit my pants <coughs> so I'll just let the footage speak for itself. Yes! 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 Oh my god! Oh, I thought I f***ed <sighs> My hands. Oh my god, am I recording? Please tell me I'm recording. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. I got content. Oh my god. Congratulations, you made the tower difficult. The tower itself represents a difficult chart which can be found in the lobby. Soon the towers were revamped to by experienced builders to leap to the brick right beneath me. But first... Not good enough of a message behind you, I'll read this. You should be really proud of yourself for beating this tower. Not a whole lot of people are actually able to do it, especially without difficult the last three floors get. Give yourself a well-deserved battle back. If this is your first soul crushing, give everyone who are currently stuck on it a good flex. Good luck with any future soul crushing towers you may face. This is the only first this is only the first of many which you will be challenged by. Uh, well, I, I guess I'll be uploading this. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Uh, leave a like and subscribe. And that's me.